Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang solving radical equations. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, from the word itself, radical equation, sa video na to ay magsasolve tayo ng value ng x na magsasatisfy sa equation na nag involve ng radical expressions. So, sa pagsasolve natin ng radical equations, meron tayong principle na fina-follow. So, the principle of powers. So, if an equation x is equal to y is true, then x raised to n is equal to y raised to n is true for any natural number n. So, kung meron daw tayong equation, So, meron tayong expression sa right side tsaka sa left side, basically, x saka y. Pwede raw natin itong erase both sides sa isang exponent na n. And then, yung kakalabas ng expression ay magiging equal pa rin. Okay? So, itong n, pwedeng integers, pwedeng rational number. So, any natural number n. Okay? So, pwedeng whole number or fraction. Okay? So, for example... Square root of x is equal to 2. So, yung nasa left side natin ay square root of x, yung right side ay 2. So, pwede natin erase both sides of this equation to any exponent. And then, mag equal pa rin sila. So, alimbawa, itong square root of x, gusto natin masolve yung x lang dito sa equation na to. So, di ba pwede natin i-write itong square root of x as x raised to 1 half? Okay, and then equal sa 2. So, para masolve natin itong x, pwede nating erase both sides of the equation by 2 para ang maging exponent ng x ay 1 na lang. So, x na lang yung left side. So, parang x raised to 2 over 2 na yan, law of exponent, di ba yung multiply lang natin, is equal to 2 squared is 4. So, therefore, x raised to 1 na lang to. So, parang x is equal to 4. So, yun yung value ng x sa equation natin. Okay? Same as dito sa y, cube is equal to 8. So, halimbawa, gusto nating masolve yung value of y lang. So, para makancel yung exponent na 3, pwede nating erase both sides of the equation by 1 third. So, parang y raised to, multiply lang natin yung 3 sa 1 third, 3 over 3 na yan, is equal to, etong 8 raised to 1 third, parang cube root of 8 right. And then, y raised to 3 over 2, parang 1 na lang yung exponent niya, so y na lang. So y is equal to cube root of 8, which is, ano ba ang cube root of 8? 2, right? Since 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Okay? Okay, so ito yung principle of power. So ngayon, punta naman tayo sa steps kapag magsasolve tayo ng radical equations. So steps in solving radical equations... 1. Isolate one of the radical terms. So, basically, i-isolate natin sa isang side ng equation ang lahat ng expression ng may radical and then yung wala sa other side din ng equation. 2. Apply the principle of power. So, kapag na-isolate na natin yung may radical expression sa isang side at yung sa isang side naman ay yung mga wala, pwede na nating erase both sides of the equation para ma mawala yung radical expression dun sa equation natin. And then, masasolve na natin yung variable. 3. If the radical remains, perform steps 1 and 2. So, minsan kasi, meron tayong cases kung saan dalawang beses tayo mag-isolate ng expression na may radical. Kasi sa unang pag apply natin ng principle of powers, ay meron pa rin tayong matitirang radical expression. So, pwede pa natin ulitin yon, Okay. 4. Check possible solution. So, after nating masolve yung value ng x or any variable na magsasatisfy dun sa equation, kailangan na-check natin kasi minsan yung variable value na nasolve natin ay pwedeng magpa-undefined doon sa expression. Which is, kapag nag-negative yung radical doon sa radical expression kung saan ang index niya ay even. Base dun sa video ko about radicals. Yun yung limitation natin sa radicals, right? Okay. So, kung nagpa-negative doon sa radicand natin, yung na-solve nating value for the variable, i-re-reject natin yon Okay? 
Now, let's solve an example para may illustrate ang pagsasolve ng radical equations. So, first we have solve square root of 5x plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 6. Okay, so isolate natin sa left side yung radical expression and then yung mga wala sa right side. So, pwede natin i-transpose tong positive 2 sa kabila. So, parang square root of 5x plus 1, iwan lang natin sa left side, equals... 6, and then itong 2 magiging negative 2 sa right side. So, parang magiging square root of 5x plus 1 is equal to 4. Okay, so pwede na natin i-apply yung principle of power. So, since ang index natin dito ay 2, para mawala yung uh, radical expressions, i-raise natin both sides sa 2. Okay? Kasi parang equal to sa 5x plus 1 raised to 1 half, right? So, kapag Ni-raise natin sa 2, mawawala yung exponent. So, magiging 4 squared yung kabila. Okay, so, simplify natin. So, kasabi ko nga, makakancel na yung uh, fractional exponent. So, matitira, 5x plus 1 na lang. Kasi parang raise to 1 na lang yan. So, i-delete na natin. Okay? Automatic 1 yung exponent. So, we have 16 sa right side. And then, 5x plus 1 is equal to 16, parang linear equation na lang. So, madali na natin masasolve. So, transpose natin itong 1 sa kabila. So, magiging 5x is equal to 16 minus 1. Or, simply, 5x is equal to 15. And then, divide both sides by 5. So, cancel. x is equal to 15 divided by 5 or 3. Okay, so therefore, x is equal to 3. Now, check natin kung pag sinasutut ba natin itong x na 3, yung uh, radical expression natin ay magiging undefined. Kasi, nakita nyo, yung index natin ay even. So, may chance na maging uh, undefined kapag negative yung radical. So, substitute natin yung sagot natin na 3 doon sa radical. So, 5 times 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Okay, so... Obviously, hindi naman magne-negative yung radical natin kasi naka-add sila. So, parang square root of 16 is equal to 4 kasi 15 plus 1 is 16. So, checking, we have square root of 16 is positive 4 is equal to 4. So, therefore, tama yung solution natin. At hindi nagpa-negative yung solution natin ng x sa radical. Okay, so therefore, approve yung value natin ng x. Okay? Okay, for the next example, we have cube root of 2x plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, so isolate natin sa left side yung may radical expression and then yung wala sa right side. So, retain natin itong cube root of 2x plus 3 sa left side and then itong positive 5 transpose natin sa right side. So, magiging negative 5 na siya. So, since yung index natin ay 3, pwede nating ma- uh, eliminate yung radical expression by raising both sides by 3. Kasi itong cube root of 2x plus 3 equal yan sa quantity 2x plus 3 raised to 1 third right. Okay, so pag ni-raise natin both sides of the equation by 3, makakancel na yung uh, fractional exponent niya. So magiging 1 na lang yung exponent ng quantity natin na 2x plus 3. So therefore, we have 2x plus 3 raised to 1. Or kahit hindi na natin isulat yung 1, automatic 1 yung exponent ng quantity. Equal, so negative 5 quantity raised to 3 is negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 is negative 125. Okay, so since linear equation na lang tayo, madali na lang natin itong isolve. So, transpose natin itong 3 sa kabila so magiging 2x is equal to negative 125 minus 3. Then, simplify, 2x is equal to negative 125 minus 3 is negative 128. Then, divide both sides by 2 para makancel si 2. x is equal to negative 64. Okay. So, pwede natin i-check kung magpapa-negative ba itong value natin ng x. Kasa napansin nyo, index natin ay add number naman. So, walang chance na magiging undefined yung radical expression natin. Unless na even nga yung index natin kasi pwedeng mag-negative yung radical natin na magpapa-undefined sa radical expression. So therefore, hindi na natin iti-check. Acceptable na agad itong sagot natin na x is equal to negative 64.
Okay. Next, we have solve square root of 3x minus 1 minus square root of x plus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, so para mas mapadali yung pagsasolve natin dito, pwede nating paghiwalayin yung dalawang radical expression. So, itong square root of 3x minus 1, retain natin sa left side. And then itong square root of x plus 5, transpose natin sa right side. So, parang magiging positive na siya na x plus 5 kasi negative siya sa left side, right? So, ngayon, pwede na nating erase both sides of the equation by 2 para makancel yung fractional exponent na 1 half kasi ang index nila ay 2, right? Pareho. So, parang 3x minus 1 quantity raised to 1 half is equal to x plus 5 quantity raised to 1 half. Then, raise natin both sides by 2. So, cancel yung mga uh, exponent nila. So, therefore, we have 3x minus 1 raised to 1 na lang is equal to x plus 5 raised to 1 na lang. So, kahit din na natin isulat yung 1 exponents nila, right? So, solve na natin for x. So, isolate natin yung mga x sa left side and then yung mga constant sa right side. So, ito, transpose natin dito and then ito, transpose natin dito. So, we have 3x minus x is equal to 5 plus 1. 3x minus x is 2x is equal to 5 plus 1 is 6. Then divide both sides by 2. So we have, cancel yung 2, x is equal to 6 divided by 2 or 3. Okay? So check natin kung magpapanegative ba sa radicands natin yung x na 3. Kasi pareho tayong may index na to sa dalawang radical expression natin. Diba? So may chance na magpanegative to. So dito muna tayo sa Square root of 3x minus 1. So, square root of 3x minus 1. Substitute natin yung 3. So, we have 9 minus 1 or simply square root of 8. So, hindi negative. So, pwede. Dito naman tayo sa square root of x plus 5. So, substitute natin yung 3. Automatic, hindi kasi naka-plus naman tayo. So, 3 plus 5 is equal to square root of 8. So, therefore, equal nga sila. At hindi nagpa-negative yung x is equal to 3 dun sa radicands. Okay? Okay, so that's it for the topic, solving radical equations. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.